What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Kong versus Warbat. So this is when he's kind of all wrapped up in the Warbat's tail. <clears throat> and he's like looking at the sky and he's kind of screaming, right? So we can see like into his mouth and all this kind of stuff. It's a cool sort of image. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So kind of unusual head position for Kong, right? So I think the easiest place to start with is his nose, right? Because it's kind of in the middle. So center point of my page is about here. We'll just come up and he's, his head is like tilted. It's not straight, so it goes this way. So we'll go with his nose, right? Yeah, go. <laughs> so we do a curve line down like this. And his kind of nostril hooks in there. And we go the same way on the other side. These big sort of gorilla nostrils here. Like that, right? And then those dark circles for his nostrils, like the shaded area sort of in here somewhere. So just like real skinny but dark, right? And we have his top lip, right? So everything's tilted back, right? So his top lip kind of comes across here. It's, this is his nostril, and this will have like all wrinkles and stuff on it. Right. So he's, he's frowning, so his brow, right? So we got like a line in the middle here and then his frowning sort of brow here. Like these two curved lines going this way. And again, all these kind of wrinkle lines in between. And these are curve over the top of his head. Sort of bumping around down to there. Like so. Right? And his eyes are in here. So he's looking up to the sky, right? So he's like, he's got this curve line there. And then his bottom eye kind of eyelid here. We do the same thing on this side, curves around. And then goes back into here. We can't actually see his iris or his pupil, but I'm going to draw it in, right? So we're going to go just here, kind of. Right, kind of like this, and he's looking up. Like he's about to pass out or something. And then we have his eyelid line kind of coming around here. Wrinkly kind of lines coming around like this. All right, and he has sort of wrinkles on the corner of his eyes as well. So like coming out here, right? And then this brow sort of has wrinkles coming across this way as well. And loads of these eye wrinkles on his, on his forehead. And so lots of wrinkly lines coming around like that. Okay. So that's his top lip, right? 
but we can see like another line just underneath so it's like his his skin part of his lip and then this part will go sort of down this way and into sort of the side of his mouth which will go down around here so real wide sort of mouth here and eventually we meet his bottom lip which will go around here and right, so that's the size of the mouth we're dealing with so then in there we have teeth right so we have the big fangs on the side just here first these can have texture lines on them and another one over here like that and then this will go around around bump around his gum line sort of here This is like his top lip. So this has all these texture lines on them like this. Like so. So and in here more teeth, right? So we have flat sort of teeth here. Right, like that, four of them. And then his molars at the back. So you've got these bumping big flat molars at the back, right? And these have sort of crisscross lines coming across there. You do the same sort of thing over here. And some gum lines and things coming across the roof of his mouth. Just light little lines like that. So then we have some lines for his cheek coming down here. Like the skin on the inside of his cheeks just there. And these will come down around sort of his bottom lip area. And just back up there and again more texture on this lip of his on the bottom and then we have to add the fangs on the bottom so sorry now if I'm going too fast just remember to hit pause kind of a complicated drawing so let's go again so we go tooth here big fang right another one we're sticking up here texture on it if you want and then flat teeth here right so about four of them right kind of like that and can we see his molars at the back we can't we can just see like more sort of tongue and stuff so like his tongue is like here like that and then the hole for like the back of his throat kind of here you just color this black And then like as much of this texture on the inside of his mouth as you'd like. So it's just coming around here. 
Maybe okay, like we should, maybe seems to be more loose, should we? Unless they kind of go back into there. I color this black because it's in shadow, so that maybe that's why we can't see his teeth back here. Right, so then his cheeks and his face, right? So coming out from here, right? We have this his big sort of hairline for his beard, right? Coming out this way. So he's got that wide beard right, that comes down there. And then this sort of fur line goes in towards his eyes and then comes down his cheeks. Kind of comes around his face here somewhere. And then we have like some more wrinkle lines and things here. And then his mouth is kind of wide open. So this comes down this sort of fur line on the side of his face here and just underneath his chin. Got some beard sort of lines like that and some face lines coming down here. Right, and the beard kind of comes across here, like all this fur comes down to a point. As much texture and stuff as you want on that beard now. My head tilted back, so like maybe you could see like some of the top of his hair or something. Just there, not much. Right, pretty much like that. So then his shoulders, real far, you go out this way. And then they kind of disappear under the war bat. So his 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 chest kind of hair goes this way. And we've got like a big sort of furry shoulder here. And that kind of goes down that way somewhere, right? And his other shoulder will go this way. And this will disappear down here somewhere as well. So top of his chest is like here. And then big shoulder line. So he's like being crushed. Okay, so Warbat's head is over this side, right? So let's see. So we do like the bottom jaw, right? Just here. There somewhere. Then we have these two fangs that stick up. So and around there, and you can have some wrinkles like around and some texture, right? So that 
kind of thing. And then we have another tooth that sticks out the other side, right, real big here. And down into another tooth here. So the warbat seems to have loads of these teeth. These long, sort of stretched out teeth. Right, so that jaw sort of comes around this way here, and then you'll have, you know, texture and bumps and scales and all this kind of stuff. Like so. So the mouth is kind of semi open on top, and the teeth all come down, they cross over the jawline. So, in order to draw that in, right, we'll do a sort of a top bumping kind of thing here. So the mouth is semi open. Right, so this is like his top jawline, and the bottom one, we'll draw it in, and then we can erase any lines we shouldn't see. So just there, like that, right? And then up here, the snout kind of sticks out here, back. And then we've got this flat sort of snake-like head, right, that comes up this way and back. to there roughly. So with the teeth, right, the teeth are crazy long. Right, so we've got this kind of like long sort of tooth. And if you go over any lines, you know, you can just erase. You got this skin flap in here. And then like really long teeth, like mental, crazy long. That grow out of here. So we have all these kind of skin lines and wrinkle lines and stuff. And there's some teeth that come out of here as well. So let's just go for it and add as much as we can. Right, so like a little long. And any lines inside here, you know, on the teeth that we shouldn't see, you can just erase those. It's easier, I think, to do it that way. And then there's some teeth inside down here as well. some coming off the front all in here and just to show that this is kind of dark inside right I'm just going to color the spaces black okay so kind of like that you can add more teeth or less if you want but I think that's enough for me and then so more sort of wrinkles and things around That. and then the back of the head just goes up here so we've got this sort of 
brow and the eye, right? So the eye is like here and it's real sort of thin. Right, like this. Like a snake sort of eye inside. And then we have this frowning, sort of bumping nose ridge sort of that goes down the snout. And you might have some nostrils or something here. And then this goes back, bumping up around the head. And eventually this will go back towards the fin. So we just add this going like that way. And then this will have like all this sort of wrinkle and stuff on it here. And more stuff underneath the eye. like here like kind of like that and then the snake like or f like dragon sort of scale thing that goes back this way up here and then this will go around like that and then back to there and like a shoulder or something here like a neck like wrinkles all on this the scales it's all about the scales with these these reptilian creatures and then so he's got these bones that go back like this way so like you know bones on, on the wing so like a little bit wider and then skinnier one there one coming out from Kong's head another one here and in between these are all red way like another one sort of joining this bone here texture lines then sort of in between because you're kind of they're bat wings you know sort of stuff going that way and then he's got that scaly tail, right? So it bumps. It's bone-like, right? So it's kind of bumpy. It's not like round. Right, that way, and then the inside of it will... Right, so say each of these is like a scale sort of section. Just keep going around and then we'll add texture. And this will eventually go behind Kong like that, right? Some more wing over that side. All right, so then each of these is like a node of sort of armor, right? So it comes across this way. And then down that way. There, 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 there. Down. Right, kind of like that. And then these will all have like scales and sort of like 
texture like this sort of stuff all around them as well. Just light lines, texture, just following the direction of each one. Pretty basic. Right, like that. And then, so I'll just thicken up some of the lines around Kong and his head and stuff just to separate him from all the texture that's around him. And of course, he has those big scars on his chest as well. So we'll draw those in. There, beside his beard, and there's another one sort of here. Warbat, we'll give the Warbat sort of extra thick line. This is an optional step now. But I find it does help when you thicken up your edge lines. On semi sort of realistic drawings like this. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. And you know, it can add shadow to certain parts of characters that you want to be darker. as well. Do 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 dots and lots of dots and dirt. Right, but that is I think as much as I'm gonna do. Kong versus the Warbat. <laughs> I'm going to stop any second, I swear. Okay, I'll leave it there. Kong versus Warbat. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.